Hey everyone, Shadow here, and I didn't get a chance to stream today, and I am going for Deadpool X-Force in the arena, and I wanted to explain what happened, what I was doing, and also give you a little story time on my experiences with Xfinity customer service. So, first of all, my internet has been unstable for over a week now. And nothing seems to be working. It, it's good one day, bad another day. I didn't know if it was going to uh, be stable for the stream today. So, I checked it. Everything looked good. I was able to play. It seemed like it was stable. As soon as I went to go stream, I couldn't connect and I was like okay I don't have time for this I'm trying to get this champion and I didn't want to waste a whole lot of time trying to deal with this internet so I had a plan I was going to uh, drive about five minutes away and uh, sit in the parking lot of this one uh, supermarket because I know that I can get online uh, Xfinity hotspot that's over there and I also wanted to test something out okay I was pretty sure that it was not me that it was them but I went over there and I connected and everything went good for a little bit and then it just disappeared it went down it was non-responsive um, you couldn't even see it in the list and I was like okay that's pretty much what I figured their network right now is unstable. So uh, I turned on the hotspot for my uh, phone, which ironically uh, is a free phone. And right now it's more reliable than my paid for uh, internet service. Uh, I will be expecting some compensation for this. Believe me, I will be on the phone with them constantly. All right, so I was actually sitting in a hot car because we are in a heat wave right now. Uh, sitting in this hot car, I parked it under some shade so it wasn't as bad as you know if I was sitting directly in the sun and just playing arena. Now, uh, I know some of you have asked me, how can you play this arena like this? And I always tell you it's because I don't just do arena, I do something else. Well, this time, I couldn't do anything else. There was no TV for me to watch. Um, I couldn't talk to anybody on the phone because I was using the phone. So it was a miserable time. Uh, but I got through the arena. I was able to get through my five stars and my six stars. And my phone's battery started going really, really low. And so I said, okay, um, let me go back home. Maybe it's stable enough for me to at least run uh, some of my other guys through. And so... I went ahead and came on home uh, and it was mostly stable. So I went ahead and, uh, you know, got my four stars on cooldown and all that good stuff. And then uh, relaxed a little bit, uh, worked and uh, what you see, uh, yeah, what you see here is me playing uh, the four star basic arena. I started with my three stars and then um, uh, moved on to my four stars. Uh, I actually got a death match in the five star featured when I went to my rank fours. Just one, was it two, I think two rows down in my rank fours and I got a death match. I can't wait for them to fix it. Uh, but anyway, so that's what you're seeing right now is me just using up my uh, three stars and my low level, you know, four stars uh, in that arena. Since I'm not going to be able to use them in the five star featured, I figure may as well do it, get a little bit extra. Okay, same thing with the three star arena and the two star arena. And I'll probably leave off the uh, four star featured arena. All right, so now let me tell you about my experience with Xfinity uh, customer service. Now, I am very tech savvy, and I'm like that doctor. You know, doctors make the worst patients. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm that way, okay? When I call tech support, 
you know, I come there with all this knowledge and they respond with a script. They have to go through these steps and they don't listen. OK, because they are taught to go through these steps. Now, I've already been on the phone with them several times. They keep resetting my modem because that's step one of the script and they don't listen. I'm telling them, look, it's not me. You know, this is a case. It's not me. It's you. OK, uh, so uh, this last time I said, all right, let me uh, try to do a online chat because you can go right to Xfinity's website, chat with a representative. I'm like, let me do that. Uh, and maybe I'll get someone who, you know, is a little tech savvy and I could supply some information that might help them identify the problem. So I'm talking to this uh, tech and I said, OK, you know, would you like me to send you my trace route? I told him I did a trace route and it's indicating about seven hops out that there is a problem. It's timing out. OK, now, if they are tech savvy, this is like basic stuff. OK, uh, now let me explain what a trace route is when you connect to another place on the Internet, you know, like either in your web browser or what have you, uh, you go through a certain path and on that path are different routers, you know, so uh, you could connect to, say, a server in California. You may go through 15 different routers before you get to that one or even 20 plus. And what a trace route will do is it'll hit each one and it will do what's called a ping. So it basically just goes there and says, hello, and it'll say hello back and it will record how fast it responds. And that's what it'll do. So you basically do a trace route to a particular place and it will go through each router, pinging it, giving you the statistics and tells you how fast that particular router responded. So when I did it uh, and I did it to YouTube, I was getting, you know, it went to the first, what they call hops, but each one, hop one, hop two, hop three. When it got to seven, it started having problems. And I was getting timeouts and some other issues. That's why I'm having the problems. Then it went to the next one. It finally got through that one and it, you know, was going through the others. And then it just stopped at like uh, hop uh, 12 or 13, just timeouts. And that's why I can't connect. So that lets me know and should let anyone that's tech savvy know that the problem isn't local. It's not my modem. It's not anything like that. They have an issue on their network. At least look at that, okay? So I asked him if he wanted me to give him my trace route. And he said, oh, yes, please, thank you. I'm, I'm you know, um, that will be helpful. And so I'm thinking, all right, I got somebody that, you know, is tech savvy, knows what they're doing. So I happily copy and paste it in. And he says, okay, thank you. He said, and, and we'll you know, get to the root uh, of this problem. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. And I'm like, the root of the problem, okay. You know, and then he sends me a message and says, I sent a refresh command to your modem. I said, what? Because I'm on an online chat with him and he's resetting my modem. Do you guys understand how that could be a problem? I'm on the line that he's about to disconnect okay he didn't ask me if it was okay to reset the modem remember what i told you this script they have to do it and my modem has been reset i don't know how many times it's not my modem every one of them says the same thing they go through these steps and they're like okay well it looks like it's not your modem yeah and then they say well we're going to escalate it to you know we're going to create a ticket and normally we would send a tech out. I'm like, okay, you know, say so we'll send a tech out, but due to COVID-19 concerns, we can't send anyone out to the home for those who have internet right now. So they're prioritizing people that have no internet. Internet, You know, if you just have, you know, intermittent problems, then they're not trying to, 
you know, send anybody out for you right now. You just have to deal with it. So anyway, he sends the refresh and sure enough, it disconnects me off the internet and the chat that I was having with him. And so I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me let the modem go ahead and reset. I'm gonna leave the chat window up and maybe it'll reconnect, okay? So I'm waiting. He told me it would take about five minutes and yeah, it took about five minutes for the modem to reset. Then, 10 minutes later, 11 minutes, 12 minutes. So I sent a message. I'm like, are you still there? I'm just checking to see if we are still connected. We were not. Um, it stayed there, but as soon as I tried to send a communication, I got an error. I'm like, well, that's exactly what I expected to happen. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna call. So I called and uh, of course I have to do the little call back thing. Uh, it took about 30 minutes. And so now I'm talking to someone. And now I always do this. I don't know why I even bother to try. But I try to shortcut their script, you know? And so, you know, when she asked me, well, can you explain what the problem is? I'm like, okay, look, I've already been through this several times. They've reset my modem several times. And I just need to know if you guys are aware of the problem on your network and whether there's an ETA for this fix. And I tell her that I have the trace route information and you know, it's indicating that there is a problem with a router on your network. It's not responding, it's timing out. Okay, they can see the timeouts that I'm getting and I'm trying to tell them, yes, the timeouts are right here. And so she's listening to me and everything, but as I learned, she's hearing me, but she's not listening. And she is following that script. And so after I tell her all of this, all she does, she goes, okay, well, I understand, and blah, blah, blah. No, she did not understand. And she's like, okay, well, I understand, and you know, blah, blah, blah. And so I need to do a diagnostic. This is code for reset the modem. Step one, again. Now, she could look up my history in the account. See that I've had several tickets. So that should be already there. So she knows that resetting the modem is not going to work. But for some reason, she's gotta follow that script. I don't know if they punish you if you don't or what, okay? And see, I get real frustrated when I'm dealing with people like this and I can't deal with someone who I consider more of my peer. You know, it's like I'm being blocked. You know, she's escalating it, but I'm never getting a call back or able to talk to someone who is more tech savvy. Okay. And so, of course, she resets the modem again. It doesn't work. You know, uh, the modem is fine. And, you know, this time I'm like, you know what? Instead of telling her, you know, I have internet, I'm just going to say, you know what? Nope. I can't get online because I wasn't able to connect. So at that point in time, no, I had no internet. And uh, it didn't help. She just did the same thing all the rest of them did. Create a ticket and then give me this spiel about COVID-19 and how they aren't sending anyone out to the homes right now. Um, any texts out uh, if you have internet, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm just like, all right, you know. And, and by the end of the call, I, I've given up, okay? I am done. This happened yesterday, okay? And so I was hoping that they would see all this and that something would have changed for today's stream, but no luck. Same issues as soon as I started to stream. So I'm just like shaking my head. I'm just like, whatever, you know? And I went on their site and they asked for feedback. Well, you know, I was very happy to give that feedback, right? Very happy. Um, I left a very nice uh, critique of their customer service. I suggested that uh, they teach them listening skills and also educate them a little bit more 
uh, when it comes to technology. If they're going to be the front line, they should have a little bit better knowledge of some of the most basic tools. Okay. And, you know, if it's something that's above their head, then they need to know that and escalate it. You know, I'm not expecting that first level one support or level three, depending on how they do it. Um, but that first line of support to know everything. But they need to know when they're over their heads. If you have somebody that comes on there and they are more tech savvy and you're not able and you can see the history that they are, you know, have already been through all of the things that you were planning to put, you know, the thing through then you need to just go ahead and bump it up. Don't waste their time going through the exact same steps that have been done several times before. Okay, so, you know, I left that call defeated. Then today, like I said earlier, things looked like they were working. I did a trace route and it seemed to be a different route. So when I did the trace route the first time, um to youtube there was something like uh 20 hops total 20 22 and uh but this time it actually connected me to youtube and there were maybe 11 but i did so still see you know some timing out but it looked like they were trying to reroute things but it didn't work so that's the story that is why you guys didn't have a stream today uh, my five stars are about to come off cooldown once again, and I will more than likely just run it. It seems like the internet is stable enough right now that I can run it, you know, run my five stars through, and I'll try to stream again tomorrow. Okay, I don't know whether I will be able to or not, but uh, I'm not playing around with trying to get this champion. So if the net is not working, then I can't waste time. I'm just gonna get in the car, go out a little way so that I have better coverage, set up a hotspot with my phone, and then grind out that arena. That's all I can do. Anyway, that's the story. That's gonna do it, guys. Uh, sorry, I will see you as soon as I can on uh, the next stream, all right? So take care, and you all, have a blessed day.